Hello students. Today we are once again here to continue with our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we learned about sequence and series. And we did some examples about a special sequence and then some arithmetic progressions. And we said for any arithmetic progression, the nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Where n is the number of terms, a is the first term, n is the number of terms, and then our d is our common difference. Today we are going to start with the geometric progression or exponential sequence. Now for any exponential sequence, it is of the form, the n term is given to us by, the n term is a r n minus 1. So where our n is the number of terms, number of terms, our a is our first term, and then our r is our common ratio. So just as the arithmetic had a common difference, for the geometric or exponential sequence, it has what? A common ratio. Now, the common ratio can be found by, now, assuming I have a sequence of the form u1, u2, u3, u4, up to the last term, un. Now, if I want to find the common ratio of this term, the common ratio, r, which is r, is equal to u2 over u1, or u3 over u2 or u4 over u3. So, or we can say un over un minus 1. Okay, that's the term before it. So, normally, for you to get a common ratio, you should get the same answer. That is when it becomes what? An exponential sequence. If you should solve for u2 over u1, and u3 over u2, and you are getting different answers, then it is not an exponential sequence. Normally, if you should solve for the common ratio, you should always get the same answer. So, for example, if I have, for example, if I have 32, 16, 8, 4, okay? Now, find the fifth term, or find the eighth term. Find the eighth term, of 32 of the exponential sequence is 32, 16, 8, and 4. So assuming we are asked to find the eighth term of this sequence. So our eighth term, u8, is equal to, remember our nth term, our nth term is a r n minus 1. Now since I'm looking for the eighth term, my eighth term will be u8, which will go to a r 8 minus 7, 8 minus 1. So u8 will be equal to a r raised to the power 7. So this will be our 8 term. This will be the expression we have to get before we put in the values. Now remember our a is our first term, which is 32, and then our r is our common ratio. So let's solve our common ratio. Now for us to get a common ratio, we are saying that ratio is equal to U2, if this is u1, u2, u3, u4, so it's u2 over u1. So we have 16 over 32. 16 will go to itself 1 and into 32 two times. The same way, we can also say the common ratio is 8 over 16. 8 over 16, which is also given as what? 1 over 2. So this means that our common ratio is equal to what? Half. Okay? So finding the eighth term, our eighth term will be equal to, our a is our first term, and our first term is 32, okay? So we have 32 times, the common ratio is also half. So we have half raised to the power 7, okay? So this will give us 32 times 1 over, when we do indices, we said if we have a over b, a raised to the power n. This is a raised to the power n over b raised to the power n. And 1 raised to the power 7 is still 1. Because 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. No matter how many times you multiply it, it's still 1. And then 2 raised to the power 7. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2, 2, 4, 
What uh, so we have two as the past term been given as two times two times two times two times two times two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two, two, we have four, we have two, two, four, we have another two, two, four, then times two. Four times four is sixteen. Sixteen times two is thirty-two. So we have thirty-two times four, which will give us uh one, two, eight. So this will give us one, two, eight. And now remember. 32 can go into 1, 2, 8. So this will give us um, 32 will go into itself 1 and 1, 2, 8, 4 times. Okay? Because 4, 2, 8, 4, 3, 12. So we have 1, 2, 8. So our 8 term, U8, is equal to 1 over 4. This is our 8 term of this sequence. 32, 16, 8, 4. The 8 term becomes 1 over 4. So this means that if we have any exponential sequence, the first term is, our first term, u1, is equal to a. Our second term, u2, is equal to ar. Our third term is equal to ar squared. Our fourth term is equal to ar cubed. So you could see from here that if our first term is a, 32, and then our common ratio is 1 over 2, it means our u2, okay, is ar, okay, which is, 32 times our common ratio is half, and this will give us 16. And you can see our second term is what? 16. The same way, if you want our third term, u3, it is a r squared, which becomes our first term is 32 times our common ratio is half, so half r squared. This will give us 32 times 1 over 4. 4 will go into 32 8 times, so we have 8 as our answer. And you could see that 8 is our third term. So, if our first term is a, our second term is a r, our third term is a r squared, following in that order, and you could see the answers coming out, then it means our nth term is equal to a r n minus 1, which is given to you in the formula I gave you at the start. So, let's solve some more examples.